This video is to show you how you can unzip and install Affinity Designer Brushes straight on your iPad. So usually when you purchase a brush set online, either from a marketplace or directly from an artist, you'll receive an automatic email with a link to a zip file or maybe several zip files. Just simply tap on the link in the email and that will open in Safari and you'll see you get this little box here that says, do you wish to download? Just tap download. And you'll notice you get a little download icon in the top menu of Safari. If you just expand that, you can see the status of the download. So it might differ depending on your internet speed, also the size of the file you're downloading. For some reason, zips do take a little longer on the iPad than they would on perhaps a desktop. So just be patient, it might take some time. At least this status bar just shows you the time remaining. So once it's finished, you just simply tap on the file and it will take you directly into your iCloud downloads folder. And I can see at the top here, I've got four brushes swatches. There's a few other zips in this particular pack. This is just one component of it. This is my glitter and foil pack for Affinity Designer that I'm demoing here. There's other textures and files that are separated into different zips to make it faster and easier to download. And this is one of them, number four, which contains the brush files and the color palette. So I'm just gonna tap on the zip file here and you'll see it's extracted the folder, just put it directly underneath. So I'm gonna go straight into that folder. And here I have all my Affinity Designer brushes and then I have a dock palette at the end, which I'll show you about in a minute. While we're here, I may as well show you also how to install your brush files into Affinity Designer. So first of all, we'll open the app. And if you want to create just a new document, just simply to open the interface, there's a plus sign at the top. You tap on that and then we can go new document and it doesn't really matter on the settings for the moment. So I'm just going to press OK to the default there. So once we're in Affinity and we have that open, these are pixel brushes that I'm going to install and we're currently on the vector mode. So I'm going to change to pixels just by tapping that little icon to the right there. And now we're in the pixel persona. So now I'm going to tap on this little brush icon on the right panel. This will open my brush palette and I'll just tap on that hamburger menu and you'll see you have import brushes here. So I'll tap on that. That takes me straight into iCloud, but if you need to, you can navigate just using the arrows at the top. And then I want to go into where we save those files, which will be in our downloads folder. And there it is there, four brushes swatches. So I'm going to go into that folder and I have all my glitter and foil brushes here. I'm going to open glitter and foil effects. And now you can see all my brushes here. So you can get a quick view of your brush sets just by tapping on the top title here. I can see all the different brushes I've got. So I've already installed my glitter and foil confetti shapes and the bonus floral brushes. And I've just installed my effects brushes now. So that's everything all installed for this pack. Otherwise you would just continue and repeat. So you'd go import brushes, go back, choose your brush file and repeat until you've got all your brush files open. So this glitter and foil pack for Affinity also contains some swatches. So it's got a glitter and foil color palette included as well. Is a little bit of a trick to doing this in Affinity Designer. It doesn't allow us to export and import an application wide color palette. It only allows you to really transfer into a document. So you can only use it relative to the document. So I'm gonna show you how you can get around that and actually use the palette across all applications. But first of all, I've included a palette document. So it says glitter and foil doc palette. And this is specific to this file, but it might be a couple of other of my packs. I've also done this, so it'll be relevant as well. So I've got this doc palette.af design. So that's the Affinity Designer um, document file. And when I go to open that, because it's telling me that I'm in a current document, so I can't import it right now. So I've got to go back out onto the main gallery screen. So we'll try that again. And then I go into the document and there you go, it's imported. So I just give you a little explanation saying that the purpose of this blank document is to import the glitter and foil color palette. So what's happened if you open up your colors by simply tapping on the color circle here, you'll see you have this swatches. So did you see that's just down at the bottom of the color palette? There's this little arrow called swatches, tap on that it will open your swatches. And you'll see I've got all the glitter and foil colors here. So this document has allowed us access to that. But this is called a document palette. So it's only relative to this and I'd like to make it relative outside of this document so I can use it in any document. So in order to do that, all we need to do is to tap on the color that we want to save 
and from there you just need to add application palette so I got to that just by the little hamburger menu so we're going to do that first then we're going to rename this palette and I'll just call it glitter glitter and full app palette and then choose OK so now we have the doc name and now I've still got that color selected so I'm going to add current filter palette and now that's put it in that application palette. So it's a little bit fiddly in that you have to go in and out of the palette. Basically, it's a lot easier than inputting all the hex values. So at least you don't have to do that. So basically, we'll do that again. Click on the next color, which is very similar. So that's the lighter tone gold. Then we go back into the palette we want to move it into, which is Glitter and Foil App Palette. And then just simply press the little um, hamburger menu again add current filter palette. So you would just repeat that for each of the colors. And then I'll show you that you are able, if we go into a completely separate document now, and I'll go back into my swatches, there we go. So the glitter and foil app palette is now available across this new document. And you'll see we don't have the other glitter and foil palette available. So it is necessary if you do want to use that palette outside of the document that I've supplied. It's as easy as that to unzip on your iPad and install in Affinity Designer. So I hope this tutorial helped you and that makes it easier next time you want to install brushes. Thanks for watching. See you next time.